My connection to the short north is that uh, I lived on the other side of the tracks. We were closer to Fort Hayes Barracks, but I had a lot of friends over here. And, uh, we used to come over here as youngsters and teenagers because there was more devilment over here on High Street than there was in my neighborhood and had a lot of good friends up here. What kind of devilment? Oh, I was just telling the other fellow, we uh, I had a buddy who used to live above the Dutch Cafe, which was quite notorious for fisticuffs and fighting and that sort of thing. My buddy, uh, Donnie Reese, lived upstairs and we used to go on his back porch with fishing rods from the second floor and put <clears throat> fishing line down there in the trash cans. We used to catch rats, <laughs> things like that. You said, uh, I heard you saying about railroad workers hanging around down here. Yeah, right next door was a 696 club. Well, it seemed like a lot of, from, a lot of railroaders from Union Station would, would hang around there. <clears throat> and uh, that was because the, the terminal was right up there. Yeah, Union Station, we called it. It was right a couple blocks south of us. Yeah. What are your memories of Union Station? Well, as a lad, Quite a few. My dad uh, retired from the Pennsylvania Railroad, and uh, back in the day, the immediate family was allowed to ride uh, free on trains. And my mother came from uh, back east of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. So we took quite a few trips as kids uh, at Union Station. We would meet the train at Union Station and then take it on, on back to Harrisburg. Uh, then later years, when I worked. Uh, worked downtown. I worked at Capitol Wholesale Drug, which is 343 North Front, and I'd get off work and walk up to Union Station Cigar Shop, maybe place a bet, place to be able to catch a bus there, and uh, from there go on home. That was in later years, probably about 1960. So at that time, the station was still fairly busy, is that right? Yeah, but you could see it was on the downhill side from when we were kids. It was just uh, a lot of hustle and bustle when we were youngsters. But you could see it. Uh, you could see it wane. Yeah, yeah. Um, are you surprised now at the way that Short North has evolved and what it's turned into? In a way, I've just watched it grow. You know, from from day one, from when it was a rough and tumble area, and watched it uh, the art uh, move in and nicer restaurants and stuff. And so I guess I've seen it evolve, so I'm not that shocked about what I see today because I was here for the pretty much the, the growth of it. Do you remember Flytown? Do very well, yeah. Explain where that was. and uh... Flytown was over uh, west of here. I don't know what the boundaries were. Maybe High Street on the east, Spruce Street on the south, maybe Fifth on the north and the Tangy River on the west, something like in there. And I guess it's got its name because it grew so rapidly. Uh, but I had friends that uh, mostly Italians and some Greeks that, uh, that you used to live there and I remain friend, friends to this day. Do you remember the uh, one time it was a roller skating rink and then uh, half, half acre? Oh yeah, the wrestling matches yeah. used to come right, let's see, right down here, they had the streets blocked off. We used to watch wrestling matches, yeah. yeah yelling and screaming. I think it cost the kids a dime. A restaurant called Fat Sam's. I think the uh, classic High Life started off right here around the corner. Uh -huh. 